I gave my lacquer wall shelf a makeover and it looks so good. So here are the things I used to go about it. So obviously I started with my lacquer wall shelf and I have mine here in the black brown shade, which is all right, but I kind of wanted to lighten it up a little bit. So I happened to be in the kitchen storage department at Canadian Tire and I found this really nice lining and it only cost $6 and the veneer looks very similar to an actual wood veneer. And um, you can also find this at Walmart or Home Depot. You'll need scissors to make cuts and an X-Acto knife to finish the edges. This old subway pass came in really handy when I was applying the lining. Okay, so I'm going to be working on the floor because I don't want to get my dining table dented from the, from the wall shelf because it's pretty, pretty heavy and has sharp corners. So I'm just going to lay out this old tablecloth got from the dollar store and I'm going to work on it. So here's the lap wall shelf. It is about 43 inches long, two inches deep, and 10 inches wide here. And so I'm going to be laying down this adhesive in four pieces. So I'm gonna have one piece covering this side, one piece covering the other side, one piece that's going to go over on the top and throughout the side, and another piece that's going to cover this side. So I'll show you how I do it. So I cut a piece that was wide enough to cover the one side. And what's nice about this lining is that its backing has grid lines, so you can easily cut on a straight line. Separating the backing from the lining was a bit of a struggle, so you really need to use your fingernails. Once I got that taken care of, I put the lining on the side of the shelf. So I flattened up with my hands at first, but then I ran over it again with my subway card to ensure that there were no air bubbles left. And the card is really effective, especially when you're going over the corners. When dealing with a part of the liner that's supposed to cover over the front end of the shelf, you kind of fold it up the same way you would a Christmas present. Um, you don't want that part to be too bulky, so just fold and cut the way you see me doing it here. And use your X-Acto knife to make the edges look a bit more precise. Make sure you have some cleaner close by throughout the project because inevitably you'll get oil from your fingertips onto the shelf and you don't want that because you want the, the lining to adhere well. So towel the cleaner off with a regular towel, not a paper one because a paper one will leave fibers behind. Take off the backing of the liner and line it up with the shelf. Taking off the backing can be a bit of a struggle. It took me a little while to figure out what not to do. Ripping the backing off piece by piece is not the best idea because the tearing of the paper makes it very difficult to remove. So it's best to cut the backing straight across and then remove it all in one piece. So now that I have that squared away, I can smooth out the liner with my hands and with my subway card. I continue the process over the front side. I cut off the excess in the back since that part is where the shelf meets the bracket. So now I'm doing the other side, and at this point I have mastered my lining skills. Here's what the shelf looks like in the back. The last step before putting the shelf on the wall is to expose the holes where the screws will go in. So with my X-Acto knife, I made a cut in the shape of an X. To make sure that the bracket and shelf were aligned properly, I inserted the center screw partially through. And if you have any questions about how to install the lac shelf, I have a whole other video. And I'll be showing a preview of it at the end, or you can click the link in the description box. And here's my new lac shelf. I'm really happy with the results. 
The seam on the right hand side is a bit more pronounced than I would like, but all in all, I think I did a pretty good job. Now it's ready for me to put some of my things on it. And you can see the bottom is free and clear of any screw heads, giving it a nice, clean appearance. So if you have a lax shelf or you're thinking of getting one, you should try this DIY out. I'd say it's $6 well spent. Thanks for watching, I see Melanie.